In Windows Server 2016, the F8 boot menu is no longer there, but we can easily bring it back. So let's go ahead and boot up off of our DVD or ISO file if it's a virtual machine, and we'll click Next once we get to the Setup menu. So now we'll click Repair Your Computer in the bottom left corner, and then we'll click the Troubleshoot button. From here, we're going to want to click on Command Prompt. We just need to type a couple of different commands and we can get that F8 boot menu back so you can go into safe mode or whatever it is you need. So let's start by typing bcd edit and then forward slash set, then brackets, boot, mgr. Close the bracket and type in display, boot, menu, all one word, and type the word yes. Hit enter. And now we'll hit the up arrow and remove the last two words and replace that with timeout and how many seconds you want that menu to be popped up. Now I like 15 seconds, that gives me plenty of time, but not too much where it slows things down. So now we've got the display menu back and we've got the timeout set for 15. Let's go ahead and exit. And now we'll shut the computer down. Don't click continue uh, onto Windows. We'll go ahead and shut the computer down. As you can see, this is a virtual machine. So if you're using a virtual machine, click on settings and go to firmware and then make sure the hard drive is now the thing on top. So we'll click move up and we'll just apply that. Now if you're using a physical computer, just go ahead and go into the UEFI and put the uh, hard drive on top if you want, or just ignore the press any key to boot off the DVD when you get that option. You can also press F12 and choose the hard drive as well during startup on most computers. Let's go ahead and click the Start button. And now we're going to, there we go, we have our menu back. So let's go ahead and press F8. And we now see all the old familiar options for going into various different modes besides standard Windows boot up. Let's go ahead and choose the safe mode option, which a lot of people like to do. And when we get in, we can go ahead and log in using the same username and password. Now, once you're done with this, you can go ahead and restart your computer and it will go back to a normal boot up. It won't uh, go into safe mode unless you press that F8 again. So this is a permanent change to your boot menu where uh, it will pop up every time with that F8 option. Now, if you think uh, 15 seconds might be too long, you can go back in and boot off the DVD and you can change it uh, to five seconds or whatever it is that you would like. All right, we have booted back up. Let's go ahead and log in. And here we are in safe mode, as you can see in all four corners. When we're all done making whatever changes we need to do, we can just right click on the start menu and choose to shut down.